We're gonna work on the four link today. We got the C notch done and uh, got half the four link already, well, half the four link already done, so we have to make the front bracket for the frame. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do there. I don't have a drawing already done for the, for the four link, the front section, so we're gonna come up with something like that and then uh, that's the agenda today, homie. Simon? Simon. All right, let's do it. Hey, keep going down, keep going down, yeah. You want it to touch? Ah, uh, yeah. The whole section with the four link is going to be, you want to know why? Why? I'm going to explain it to you why. Tell me why, though. We'll get on the, we'll let all the local chonies how we're going to do it today. And it's probably going to make a lot of sense for a lot of the local chonies, you know what I mean? Oh! Oh, we are you for, homie? Oh, 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 oh. All right, hold on a second, I'll let you know, huh? I'm going to tell you why. I already know why now. Started back in 1977, right? <laughs> <laughs> you want the pumpkin to come this way? Get out there and see my car. No? Why are you doing it like what homeboy does? Who? That fucking upholstery guy. He comes over and then he asks me a question. He answers it with his own question. With his own answer. That's what you're doing right now. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> come inside, huh? come inside. Hey, can we get some lights, Roman? Here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the deal. So this is what I was thinking about doing. Here, throw me light. The light doesn't do any good back there, Roman. See this car? Pay attention, Pichi Roman. So this car used to be a four-door, right? You can see right here how the doors used to be and they shortened them up and stuff like that. So it used to be a four door. So back here, there used to be a seat. Now we don't have a seat back here. So a lot of this right here serves no purpose. The links are gonna come down like this. I'm gonna put them like this on the side of the frame, like this. So obviously the axle is already sticking out higher, right? What we're gonna do now is recontour the car to the links. Cause the seat is gonna be right about here, the front seat. So none of this right here, we can, we can literally make a step go up from here and we'll go up this way, up that way. It doesn't matter because there's no seat back here. So that's what we're gonna do. You understand what I'm saying? Oh yeah. It makes sense? Oh yeah. So we're gonna go like this and we'll go up to here. This is where the four link's probably gonna sit. We can probably still utilize this to go up. Make sense? Give me a marker so I can mark it. Coming right here, see where the frame is at? That's where it's welded. Right here, this part right here, see that? Oh, yeah. That's the frame right there. Oh, that you know what I mean? I'm just trying to figure out what we can cut it to so we can create our new sheet metal, nice and clean. The tunnel's gonna come all the way up to here, though. So we're gonna do it like this. Look at all this dirt on her, bro. Is that dirt or what is this? Look at this. You didn't put away the vacuum, right? Because we're going to need it. Look at this. Oh my God. All right, check it out. Roma, you want me to do it? You want to do it? Here, give me my little hat. I'll do it. I know you look like you're tired right now, dude. What you do all weekend, homie? Huh? Sleep. You working on your car? Oh, yeah. At the crib? Hey. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> so bad. It's so bad. I'm turned off. Whoa, I put it on backwards. Whew. Super turned on. Huh? <laughs> 69. 69. 
Different sizes. So oh, we're gonna lay fucking them. the same size, homie. I'm setting up the links. I'm setting up the brackets. These are the brackets that I make to do the links. First, we do with aluminum. When we do the links, you know, we put aluminum bushings. I made these so it can be like a like a replica of a bushing this is what the bushing looks like so I'm doing like a replica of a bushing that way we don't have when we tack and weld it together we don't burn the bushing ha you saw this you know what I'm saying so if you don't have one of these yet get some made because it's gonna be very important for you to do your links but then again we do this all the time that's why we do it like this you know what I mean you can burn the bushing a little bit. I remember when I first started and I didn't have these made, I used to tack it and the bushing used to get burned a little bit. You know what I mean? That's when I was still doing it at home and stuff. You know, I wouldn't do it to people's cars anymore. I have to keep it all legit now. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Has to be legit. So, so down on me. It's raining hard. Fucking California is falling apart, literally, homie. You see all those like little mountains? They're coming down. The mudslides, literally falling apart, homie. It's disintegrating. So look, so these ones right here, see this right here? That's the top of the bracket. See this right here? That's the top of the bracket. Oh, it goes this way. This is the left side. Let me get a marker so we mark it. This one right here is going to be the right side. And it goes a little something like this. This is going to be the right side. So we'll put right and then we'll put left. These have been sitting here for a while. That's why they're a little dirty. I built them a while back. <laughs> Look at that. So this is going to be the left side. So, okay, so we got that all done. Oh, snap. These aren't ready. Okay, we'll get back to those. I'm going to start creating the, the brackets from the front. Yeah, I like it when it's raining, homie. Because nobody comes over you. Know? We're all working in silence, shit, just a little bit of music for me. You can smell the rain, the best. Start drawing it. Mm. 
tank to plate, dude, and then uh, let's clean up this area right here. So I get it. Make it bare metal because we can't weld onto it like yeah. this, you know what I mean? So I said, put I can see that. You can clean it here. I'm going to make the bracket wrap around like this. I need it to be still so I can take my measurements. Get in the welding. Man. Okay. Let me cut out another one like that. Put the stamp of approval on it, homie. Make sure it fucking know what's cracking. the welder ready, Doc. It is ready. All you gotta do is turn it on, plug it Why in. You always gotta talk back, homie. It's talk communication. Oh, okay. That's a no, dude. I welded with my mouth open. It fucking hit, uh, one of the sparks hit my tooth, dude. And I, I could you got stuck on there? Yeah, it got stuck yeah. on my tooth, bro. What Did you make fuck? a hole? No, I don't know. I took it there. off. It just, just yeah, I took it. Stuck. It came off, <laughs> but it was like, oh man. Now I got a black thing I on there. I had to put my glove on that big old, like a. Big, 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 big
I hate doing these things, dude. They always take a while, dude. It fucking sucks. It's always the same pedal, dude. It's always like, it comes off, it comes on, it comes off. Take a measurement from the front cross member, which is that one right there, to here. I'm gonna make both of, both of them identical. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Sometimes one side goes easier. You know what I mean? Than the other side. Any better than that, gangster? Uh, let's do the one double, one double measure. Yeah, everything came out just fine. <laughs> you good? <laughs> right on the money. Uh, I want to say right on the money where it, where it ain't off. You know what I'm saying? Like it, like. Actually, it's a it's a half of an eighth. It's one sixteenth. You know what I mean? That's not a thickness of a nickel. You know what I mean? A dime. It's almost nothing, but I wish it could be the the cross member. So I'm gonna find a different spot where to measure. It. I'm gonna measure it right here. Look, see this hole? That's a good reference point. Sixteen and a half. I swear. Oh, no. So that means that cross member is probably a little bit off. But it could be the fucking dirt on it. You know, yeah. that dirt on yeah, it. Yeah, it's probably that, the that dirt. make a difference. Because if you don't have dirt on one side and it's all thick and full of dirt on the other side, it can give you an eighth off. Huh? Easy. Easy money. Okay, cool. We got it all set up. Let me make the bracket. Here's what here's what we gotta do next with the rear end. Let's put the rear end right here. Level it out. Right? We're gonna put it out here and then we're gonna go down. Let's put the rear end. So all you gotta do is go up, push it on here, and that will that way we can go up. Let me let me take some measurements right here. And I'm gonna start drawing out this bracket. My favorite part, another bracket. Bracket maniac. Ooh. I love making brackets. <laughs> you center the rear end, you always want to center it. Pick, you got to pick a point. I call it a point. Right. So either you pick the top, this this side. Right. You know what I mean? Or you pick here. But when you go measure on the other side. You got to pick the same spot. You got to pick the same spot. <laughs> so you can't So you can't measure from here. And then go over there on the other side, you're going to measure from here. Right. It does, no. You got to pick the same point. 
That's very important because all frames, the frames aren't perfectly straight. Frames are tapered. So they go from small and then they have a stomach and then big. Not super big, but bigger. <laughs> so you gotta, from here to here, it can always change. See my yeah. mm -hmm. So you always have to pick a point. We're three inches over there and right here you're one, two, three, four, five. It's right on the money too, five, just, I think. No, it's pretty close. Inch and a half over this way. Divided by two. Inch and a half is yeah. seven, three quarters. Three quarters. So you got to go three quarters that way and you should be dead at some. You know what I mean? No, espérate. No, espérate, wey. Jalas que? No, because we weren't all the way topped off. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm putting it all the way to the top now. So then we can go from there. That wasn't a good measurement. No, it was just a rough measurement, the start. That's what I call it. So now we're still back here. So go ahead and raise that rear end on that side. Good? Yeah. Now we're gonna go up a little bit. Now, bring it, about, bring it down just a hair. Enough for me to be able to move it over there. Okay. So, what did we say? Three quarters of an inch? So it should be three and three quarters on that side. Let's watch, it should be three and three quarters over there. It's four. Ah, You're not measuring from the same spot. I'm measuring right here. Right at the corner. Three and three quarters. So we, we put the differential all the way forward. The reason why we put it all the way forward is because when your forelink push, your forelink pushes it back when you go down. It pushes it back about a half inch, five eighths to three quarters of an inch. It just depends on how steep the rake is on the ladder bar. Get it? Yeah. So I think we're good there. Now we're gonna set that, the pinion and then go. So check it out. This is what I used to find my uh, degree finder, you know what I mean? So you only go like, you drop the pinion and go down about three degrees. A lot of people don't know why you drop it down for three degrees, you know. From what I heard from OG, OG, OG differential guys, because I'm not OG, I'm just about the local. Nah, I'm kidding. So it's three degree. The, the three degree is to, when you take off on a car, the, the bushings give three degrees. And that way your pinion straight. Which three degree is like, like that much. Thickness of a dime. So it's not much, you know? So let's do it. Alright. So the way I do it. See right here, see the degree? It's like 10 degrees right now. Turn it. Other way, other way, other way. So you turn it, you turn it. See? Booyah, right there, bro. Ta-da! See that? So when you take off, your bushings give a little bit and it puts you right where you need to be. So let's go ahead and measure this again, again, to make sure. I'm gonna cut out some little tabs I'm gonna put right here, bro. Let me cut them out while you're doing that. Ta-da! No la aprendiste. Alright, go up, 
back is going to go right here. Let's take this off. Fucking frame is bent. Frame is bent. We can't stick the back in there. You know what I mean? Welder ready? Sweet. Let's weld her up. Homie, let's do the links after this. Right there. Bust the weld right here. Psh, psh. You know what I'm saying? That button know what's crackalacking over here and shit in the west side. If you got a look at Zephyr. Doing a four link setup. Let me know. I got you. One side till I die. You know what I'm saying? Hey, come on. Do me a favor, though. You clean this up. That's it for me. Appreciate it. So then, my link setup is gonna go right here. Like this. Tie it out. So we're gonna weld this all together right here. You see that? And then your link is gonna hook up right here. Tie it out. How you like me now? All right. Woo! All right. Let me clean this. So this one's gonna go right here. Once we weld this, we'll go ahead and come back and weld this. Hey, give me the other four link pieces. Good job. It up. It's gonna go right here. Just wanna see how big my links are gonna be.
Not that beautiful well. Weld it up, then we'll move on to the rear. Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean. Where's the, the helmet? Where's the helmet? He's wearing it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> You got it, you got it. You're, you're, you're my carapila, wey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll teach you carapila. It's carapila. carapila. Nobody carapila. could be carapila. Right, nobody, nobody could be carapila. Nobody could be carapila. Nah. Alright, check it out. Ya las cortaste. Let me no, give you no. the measurement. So the way you want to do the links on, when you cut the links, is we're going to do each one individual and then make it right. So what you want to do, is you go to the center and center because we're gonna notch them. Oh, so yeah. it grabs the whole thing. So what you wanna do is you go kind of like, if you do like, right, let's do, this is from like, I like to measure from the center of the center of the two, the, the link, the, how do you say, the bushing? Yeah. So this would be 18 and a half. So cut four of them 18 and a half. This should be all be the same, bro. Bam, yo. You get the notch because the tubing is really, really thinner than the actual notch. You don't have to put it in the middle. You know what I mean? 
So I kind of measure just kind of short, shorter than in between. You know, go ahead, notch it. Don't stop it. Link, we'll do the link and then we'll do the cross member. You know what I mean? For all those bottles that are doing it at home, getting down like James Brown, Locochon style, you know what I'm saying? This is how you do it. I like that one song. You gonna leave me hanging up? Oh shit, Damn, homie, come on, dog. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh shit, no. Mm. Alright. Well, homie, that shit is me, dog. It's probably the best. The last one's always the best one, dog. Alright, here we go. Uh, here we go. Uh, here we go. Let's do this. Let's rock and roll. I need a light over here, dude. Oh, shit, man. That's just homie. I can't see nothing on this side of town on me. All right, ready? Let's do the, the cross member on top with the airbags. What time is it? It's still early, homie. We got time. Hell to, yeah. We still got time to do another car. Fuck yeah. Let's Put a little notch right there. I did put a little notch. 
Five and a half. Five, so it'd be two and a half. This is gonna be the upper purchase for their air rack for the airbag. Fit is. You know what I'm saying? See? Big down, baby, do the dizzy, but the boat down. Big, 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 Four inches and a quarter. Yep. One and a quarter. Like half inch. No. We're gonna finish off the, make the shock mounts and uh, finish welding this. So, go ahead and take off the link. We'll take the links off and uh, <clears throat> finish welding on the links, put it all back together, put the air suspension on, and then we'll go from there. You know what I mean? I just gotta clean up a little bit because. 
homie Rafa hasn't came by and uh, everything looks all disorganized. It's almost like we need Rafa around here. Hey Rafa, if you're out there, homie, don't forget about us, carnal. All right, let's get to work. Remember we did the four links. Yeah, that. It sucks because it's been really like weathery in here, and the metal looks all like you know, like it's got surface rust. I hate that, but it looks pretty either way, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Talk about. 